Yeah, I don't even know how much money I have anymore. Like, I have a money guy. I don't know what the hell his, even name, his name even is, to be honest with you, poor guy. He sends me an invoice every month. Pays himself. I don't ever want to be that rich. I have a money guy. I don't even know his name. He just sent me an invoice and pays himself. What? That's not a flex to me. That sounds stupid. Every time I want to buy something nice, new, or, like, expensive, I just call him. I'm like, bro, can I buy this? He's like, yeah, you're good. So, I don't care how much money I have. All I know is that the second I ask him for something and he says no, then I'll freak out. Otherwise, don't know how much my bills are, car payments, nothing. He takes care of it. He could be f***ing robbing me and I, had no, I would have no idea. Duh. As long as I want something and I can have it, don't care. Simple. Yeah, I don't even know how much money I have anymore. Yeah, let me tell y'all something. I do not ever want to be that rich. This is how we get the stories in the news of somebody's financial advisor robbing them for millions of dollars. Because they are ignorant to where their money is going. Is she right here? Yeah, this is me. Alright, well, I'm trying to make up with you again. Yeah, me too. I can't wait to do it. Oh, say less. Well, hear me when you get home. Alright, I will. Alright, bro. She the one, bro. Nice. She's fine, though, bro. Bro, that's what I'm saying, bro. I'm off the game now. Hey, bro, hang my jersey up, bro. She don't be out every night. Her wig, when I hugged it, didn't smell like campfire. And she don't be at stations every Monday singing karaoke. Ooh. We get married tomorrow. Alright, All right, folks, said we get married tomorrow. That's the love of my life. And when you know, you know. You need to let love hit you sometimes in your face. That's why you're lonely at the bar. Oh, she just texted me, bro. She wanted to come spicy. over. Let me attend to my wife. Well, <laughs> my light bill is due, and I don't get paid until Friday. Damn, that's crazy. Yeah. So what you gonna do? Yeah. I was hoping that you would take care of it for me. How much? It's only a hundred. Hundred dollars ain't shit. Yeah, I can't see your that? fine ass in the dark anyway. All right, baby. Yeah. What's your Thank you. What's your cash at? I'm coming outside with a plus one every time, bro. Alright, I'm gonna get at you. That was G King, that boy crazy. You talking spicy, dog. That actually reminds me, my phone bill is due tomorrow and I really need to take care of that. Did he even hit? I seen him at the crib, but did he hit already? Some of these joints will hit you with that phone bill and that light bill conversation before you even get the draws. I'm looking for love, you looking for help. I'm mm. not your father. I'm not your daddy. I'm not. Nothing in your bio said I have money problems or I come with a big appetite. It actually says you self-made. I haven't seen it yet. Okay, the boyfriend that I had before he took care of everything. I didn't even have to ask him no questions. Well, shit, let's call him. He sounds like a good guy. I got bills due, too. Okay, I'll call anybody on my line. Then. Well, tell him. But let's start with rent. Tell him I need money for that. What happened to your love? Plus one. I'll call anybody on my line. I'm going to call that girl the love of my life, bro. We need a new batch of women, bro. I'm tired of these beautiful bums. Is she right? Beautiful ready? bums. Mmm. I can call anybody in my lineup. That's a powerful line. I don't know if she freestyled that line or my boy wrote that line in the script, but that's powerful. The sooner you realize that every in Atlanta is bad, the sooner you will start adapting to the city mall. Y'all come to Atlanta thinking you better than somebody. That's that's the issue. That's my issue. And I'm not even from Atlanta. I'm from Athens, Georgia. Not from I, Athens? I She's so damn country. <laughs> like, really, and if you hit the, the penalty, you can metal. Four to five minutes. And when I see people come here, I've been here ever since 2015 when I came to Georgia State University, baby. And I think the main thing that I see when y'all here is that you think you better than certain groups of other women. And I'm talking to women when it comes to this. You think you better than other groups of women. And you get your feelings hurt every time that you get your ass up, really in reality. And you get shows up over a BBL warrior. You come here thinking I'm Miss Suburban Black, Miss, Miss, Miss Up North, Miss... Outlast, and you be talking out on MissSouthern.com, Miss BBL with the 40 inch bust down, Miss Work in the Club, Miss Stripper.com, Miss, Miss OF, Miss OF down. Y'all be hating on Miss OF down, Miss BBL.com. Y'all be hating on them. Miss BBL.com. Miss Regular Degla. You do. You do. Because you think, oh, I'm from, now I ain't even trying. Uh, I'm from, uh, I'm from Florida. I'm from Chicago. I'm from New York. He should be, from, I'm a bitch up there. Yeah, you a bad bitch up there, but it's a whole bunch of bitches down here. You think you may not think she's bad, but she bad to him. You know what I mean? So they feel like they getting chosen up over other girls, and I think that's why so many girls be getting so like, "What is Atlanta? Atlanta is Atlanta not real? Atlanta is real." Atlanta is one of the fakest cities ever. Just understand that the mentality of the people that live in Atlanta—not all of them, but a huge majority of them—is fake. It's, I think y'all just don't understand that. It's real that every can get chose up on. 
And you're not used to that because you think you're the baddest. But everybody the baddest in Atlanta. You go to the club, he looking at you, but he looking at you and 13 other bitches because guess what? Everybody in your section bad. You know what I mean? You could be Miss Regular Degla. She Miss Church.com. She Miss BBL.com. She Miss OF.com. She Miss Kroger.com. You don't really know. And I think people hate that. Because in these cities, they know what's up. He looking over here. I know he ain't checking for my friends. I know he ain't checking for who I came here with. But in Atlanta, he checking for everybody. Everybody bad. Everybody got a face card. Everybody got a body. Everybody got something that he, he willing to in, invest in or choose up on. You know what I mean? And the girls can't take it. And so when I feel like when they can't take that, it start getting in their head a little bit. And they be like, I can't conduct business per usual. I can't do this. I can't do that. I don't like it. And I, I, I'm feeling, it's, it's, it's feeling real sketchy right here. You don't feel sketchy, y'all. You feel like he's supposed to be choosing up on little shawty. That's why y'all be like, it ain't real. It is real, bitch. Sooner you realize you ain't better than nobody. It's the sooner you will do better in the city, baby. Like, I know my, you don't got to think I'm a, but I know a, a whole bunch of folks who do. And I know a whole bunch. So when I go somewhere, he think I'm bad. He think she bad. He think they bad. And all of the rest of them in the event, they bad too. Y'all ain't used to that. Tell me I'm lying. The sooner you realize. Yo, her curse word censorship is crazy. Like, her volume control when she's getting to them curse words is crazy. But, like I said, Atlanta's one of the fakest cities so I was editing this video, and I felt as I need to come back and really explain myself. People always come out and say, oh, Atlanta is fake. Atlanta is not a real place. But I don't think anybody ever broke down why Atlanta seems so fake or why Atlanta don't feel like a real place. Personally, I think it's because of the people that's moving here. Now, granted, I am one of those people that moved here, but I've been out here long enough. And I've seen the change. When I first came out here, I was intrigued by how genuine the people were. Majority of the people that are from Atlanta that you would meet in Atlanta were genuine. And I'm talking, this is the Gucci Man era. The This this right before moving into the Travis Porter era. Then social media took over and people started finding out more about Atlanta and more people started coming in here. And they started bringing their bullshit. And a lot of these people wasn't sh they city so they come down here they make up a new persona and then you got the young kids growing up now who are being influenced by the music when i was younger i was in college the dudes growing up was being influenced by by the party music the trap music and it was about making money now these young they're influenced by the drill culture and another another thing is it's so much people getting money out here that you don't know who's getting money the problem is that when you have People who not getting money or people who don't have no, as they say, slow motion or no motion. It's a lot of people out here that don't have no motion that would fabricate some motion. But because they don't know how people with motion actually operate, they create this, this persona and this persona catches on. It catches on and catches on and it becomes a norm. And that's where you have the, the fake shit coming from. So people who come here from other states bring their nonsense. You know, this whole bad bitch mentality, like, bro, you know how easy it used to be to talk to a woman in the A, even if she wasn't interested, she never looked at you or, or scorned you or it was respect. Now, it's like, is he, are you talking to me? I'm a bad bitch. What are, you, what are you doing? It was never like that. The women were more genuine. The dudes were more genuine. People in general in the A were more genuine. Gas station puts water in gas. Multiple cars break down the engine. Oh. All these cars. One sec, you listen to me. We're gonna. Bro, is there a way to come back after getting water in your gas tank? Is the car ever gonna be the same? My YouTube mechanics, can somebody please answer me that? I, I can't imagine this, bro, because the other day I almost caught a heart attack because. So I thought I put 87 instead of 93. And I was shook because they, on the manual, they say only put 93 in your car. You put the lower grade gas, you're gonna start hearing the engine knocking. So I'm, mm -mm, I was frustrated, bro. So if this happened to me, I don't know.
I don't know how how I'd react. 